time is now 1023 and we are back in session going on to agenda item number nine Dis uh, 14 14a Oh, I'm so sorry. Agenda item number 14, return to open session, deliberate, consider, and take any action necessary as a result of the discussion in the immediately preceding agenda item. A, deliberate, uh, consider, and take any action necessary relating to a civil service matter under Chapter 143.073 and fire apparat apparatus operator, David C. Snettles. We'll take A right now, and then we'll go on to B. I'll entertain a motion. Do, do you have some quick discussion? Uh, Chief, could you step up, please? Sorry, sorry. <coughs> uh, in regards to the position that, that's being held uh, for Mr. Cisneros, um, is that affecting the uh, the performance and the ability of our uh, of our uh, staff to to perform their duties? Other than the staff is having to work additional hours to cover those positions, performance is not being affected. Okay. If I understand the question correctly. Well, I guess it was more along the lines of is is there, there are people having to make up cover a gap. Fill the fill the position that that is that, that is vacant because yes. of this absence. Yes. And uh, uh, according to the request um, made, your your um, uh, recommendation would be to. My my recommendation is not to extend the his leave. Any other questions, Council? No further questions. I'll entertain a motion. Yes. I'll go ahead and make a motion. I make a motion to uh, uh, to not extend. Okay. Do I get a second? There is no second. No second. Okay. Further discussion or another motion? Yeah, we'd like to recommend something different to amend. Mm -hmm. um, in you light. Want to amend? No, it's, it's, it died, so she's just making another motion. She's making okay. another motion. Just in light of our discussions, that we extend two weeks. And then, um, well, how would I word that, Mr. Taller? Like if it was just to be extended uh, well, for Well, you need to set the duration. And the pay rate. The duration and the percentage of the salary. Of right. 100%, 90%, 80%. Any percentage that you feel comfortable with. I would say two weeks and then with the, um, perhaps 50 or 60. the 100 because they're going to take it out of his accounting way. The recommendation would be the hundred. My, my recommendation would be a hundred percent because 100. we would be subtracting um, whatever benefits he's entitled to okay. under, under so the at a, two weeks extension at a hundred percent. Okay. Second. Okay. Um, I'll take a vote on the Aye. motion. Aye. 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 Okay. Nay. All right. Majority has it. Motion passes. Mayor. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. You not read the agenda item eight or fourteen B first. Okay, agenda. I, okay, moving on. So that motion passes. Recorded. Okay, agenda item number fourteen B. Consider and act on authorizing the city attorney to engage the Broadwer Law Firm and Sarlis and. Equipment as special counsel to represent the city on legal disputes with Marshall Construction, Naismith Engineering, and others on planning and construction of the multi-use complex. And Mayor, uh, Ms. Roeder and I have 
had some discussions. There's an issue that comes up we'd like to resolve before we move forward on this. If that's all right, I would ask that the council just table it. Uh, it won't take long, and it probably would take just a couple of minutes at, at next Tuesday if we go forward with that one. We can take care of it then. But we need to work something out first. Okay. Council? So you're asking to table it for the a table to, for to right now for a very short period of time. Yes. Make a motion to table item. Okay. Okay. Uh, vote on tabling the motion. Second. I second. Oh, yes. Okay. Vote. Aye. 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 Thank you. Okay. Mayor, appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Now moving back to now agenda item number nine. Am I correct? Going back. Okay. Agenda item number nine discuss, consider, and act upon adopting an ordinance of the city of Alice, Texas, establishing rules of procedure for city council meetings. <coughs> Mayor, in the interest of, if I may speak, in the interest of uh, us conducting uh, ourselves uh, accordingly to get the best uh, uh, use out of our time, uh, I know that Mr. Towler had drafted some uh, rules of procedure. In addition, uh, Councilwoman Moran uh, had come up with some rules of procedure. It would have been two agenda items uh, discussing the same thing. So. At Mr. Uh, Tyler's just, uh, at legal advice, we combine those, mm -hmm. but now it's up to uh, the council's discussion on on uh, which procedures they'd like to move forward on or at least uh, start the discussion. Uh, so I combining nine and ten? No, no. It, 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 in this agenda item, uh, she submitted a packet mm -hmm. uh, accordingly, and, and uh, Mr. Tyler had some uh, drafted previously that we've added on under this agenda item. So. I know that the uh, council's desire is to uh, uh, get as much work done uh, throughout the meeting, so we just need some procedures to be able to assist us. Absolutely. Uh, Councilman Moran, uh, do you have any objection to handling both of these? It's yours is agenda item 10. Do you have any objection to doing both of them at the same time? Discussing both at the same time? Correct. No, I don't have any objection to okay. this. Then I have obje objections to combining them both. Okay, I understand, but it, for okay. purposes right, right. Of Just for the agenda, to be item, clear, <laughs> nine and ten. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Very good. So. Mayor, could you could you read just agenda item ten? Ten. Yes, sir. Agenda item number 10, discuss and consider, discuss, consider and act upon an ordinance of the city of Dallas, Texas, establishing a council govern, governance policy and rules of procedure. At this time, I'll open up for discussion. I'm actually uh, gonna, uh, if it's okay. Absolutely, sir. Uh, I'm gonna start talking against item nine, which is one that has been presented to council and it seems to have had some revisions uh, since uh, I think it was uh, first presented maybe in December or January in January in January okay um, it seems like it has some some uh, revisions and, uh, and, and it has been um, duly handled by our attorney um, this the, 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 there was only a couple of questions and I, and I emailed them out earlier uh, to you after reviewing and um, I'd like to see if, get a response from you on some of those questions um, in regards to this one I think there was only maybe one or two questions in, yes. on this one. Um, and the first question was, when looking at the sample procedure for handling, for handing the notes states, nothing goes to discussion before a motion. Uh, oh, for handling a motion, states that nothing goes to discussion before a motion. Uh, actually, the, the ones that I had drafted does allow for deliberations before a motion is made, and that is commonly how this council has always acted. Uh, there's almost always deliberations before a motion is made. Right, and that's and that's what I put there. It goes against uh, okay. Section Two D One. Right. In your in your write up. So I noted that to... as well. Yes, so. and, and I, my suggestion is that we allow deliberations before a motion is on the floor. Okay. okay. So we would deliberate the motion. I mean, deliberate the item and then deliberate the motion. And then once someone makes a motion, then you can have further deliberations on the motion. Okay. Correct. Yes. Perfect. And and that's I think the better way to handle it. Uh, the second question was... So yours would have to be edited, is what we're saying? No, mine actually allows deliberations before a motion is made. That's just a procedural handing, like a sample is what you gave us in the back, correct? Right. Uh, well... Uh, you're referring to the... Um, 
Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. The sample guide. You're referring oh, that, to the sample guide. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh. That was something out of Robert's. It's a cheat sheet for Robert's Rules of Order. So it's not it really is. kind of. And that's <coughs> okay. Good. One of the reasons that I don't think Robert's works well for an organization <coughs> like this. Um, that, that there's a lot of what I consider to be kind of arcane rules in Roberts that uh, don't really apply to this organization. Um, the, your second question, Councilman Crisp, was uh, states that any action may be brought by council for a vote needs to clarify that it's limited somewhere to only items on the current agenda. That would be um, E1. Yeah. Motion, motion required. Um, mm -hmm. It says any action uh, by the council shall be brought before the body for a vote. And I think the only thing on that is that the write-up needs to, or somewhere else needs to limit any motion to agenda items. Okay. Well, the state law limits it to be, it has to be an agenda item. Uh, Good. The, the Open Meetings Act, if it's not on the agenda, then we can't. Can I okay. Now, uh, and, and one issue with this, uh, the way it's drafted in here, it says there has to be a motion in a second. Um, That's not necessary. If somebody makes a motion, um, what this 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 would actually require a second before it can go forward. Okay. And you know, when things get busy and get hot, sometimes we move forward to on a vote without a, without a second on it. And if the council actually votes it and passes something, it doesn't really matter. There doesn't have to be a second. If everybody just votes on it. That waives the issuance, the, the requirement of a second. This says you do have to have a second. So um, that's one of the things that, I mean, it's in here, but it is not absolutely necessary that you have a second. If, if, if someone were to make a motion and everybody says, yeah, that sounds good to me, and the vote's unanimous, then it's an action. It's an official action. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I have put in here some specific <coughs> rules on obtaining and yielding the floor and, and it's it, it allows when someone gets the floor it allows them to actually ask questions of others even other council members without yielding the floor under Roberts you can yield the floor pretty easily by letting somebody else talk that's not a good idea. We, when someone has the floor, they should be able to discuss with others, even on council, without yielding the floor. And I've tried to make that work. Um, there is a what provision. What page, Mr. Towler? I'm sorry. Uh, this, uh, this one doesn't have page oh, numbers. I'm sorry. So. It, it, it is the third, uh, the fourth page, okay. down at the bottom, uh, item number four, obtaining and yielding the floor. Okay. Um, and then. It does have on the top of the next page, uh, if you want to put time limits on debate, and it, it has a provision in there for putting time limits on, on debate. And um, that's not absolutely necessary, but and but it you, can always be modified by consensus. But you do have have to where if they, you know, we can set a time limit, but then they may ask by motion ask additional of the council time. for additional time. And, and, and as with, and Mayor, if, if, say, there's a time limit in there, right. council person's not finished, and they'd ask for additional time, and you say no, they always have the option to appeal that ruling to the majority of the council. And go to council, correct. Yes. Correct. Now that's assuming that we adopt the Roberts assuming Rules of you, Order. No, no, no this, this is, right this here. Rules of Order. Right. That rules. does not say what you just said. Yeah. That's What's exactly that? What There's a blank. There's oh, on, the, on C. Yeah, it, it said there's the blank for the. Uh, for a time limit. Mm -hmm. For a maximum of a blank minute. Within these Rules of Order, correct? Yeah, within these but Rules a, of Order. Is this Roberts Rules of Order? We're no, no, this is not Roberts. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's no. my question. That's assuming. Right. That we adopt Robert's rules of order. No. No, it's no. On this here. is not Robert's. Okay. These are some that I put together that are. Some of it is <coughs> consistent with Robert's rules of order, but some right. of it some is, is not. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, is this your uh, 
It is my, is, I drafted this. You drafted yes. this? Yes. So you're presenting this, Mr. City Attorney, as an agenda item? I am presenting this. I did not put it on the agenda, as, no. as you know. Because okay. last council meeting, you pres or previous council meeting, you presented an agenda item, well, which my was name this. Was, my name was put on the bottom. I do not, ab I absolutely exactly. do not have the right to put anything on the agenda. So my name was put on the bottom, but it was put on by the city manager. Is this me. the same document that was presented to city, the previous city council? With a few minor revisions. Right, yes. So, changed. Mr. Chris, was this your document? No, this is not my document. No. This is not the one you presented at the prior council? No. Oh, it may be the one I presented. It's, it's, it's similar to the one I presented back in January, but Mr. Chris did not draft okay. it. I did not. Because okay. I was in a city, I don't, a city I don't meeting when, to be an attorney. when you submitted, you were attempting to submit a Robert's Rule of Order. No, I was I'm just submitting asking. their copies okay. of, I, that just, they had. I was just asking so. for clarification. Thank okay. you. Yeah. But no, I'm okay. not an attorney. I don't write these things up. No, I asked if you had submitted them. Um, and you know, if I wrote them. On, a, on amending a motion uh, under Roberts, for instance, Councilman Chris makes a motion and someone wants to amend it. Actually, the rest of the council can amend his motion. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I would rather, if you make a motion, if someone wants to amend it, they get your permission to amend it. Right. And if you say yes, fine. And if you say no, then it goes to a vote on your motion. And if it doesn't fail, somebody can make their own. But I don't like the idea under Roberts that the council as a whole can amend your motion. Uh, you get very convoluted by the time you get to a vote. So again, you're referring to Robert's rules. Right. <coughs> He's uh, is right. this? Mine is different than Robert's okay. rules. He's comparing them to Robert's rules. He's not My saying it is. My question was to Mr. Teller. Well, I okay. questions. Ms. Mm -hmm. um, Ganasco, you have any questions on it? Was there any more on mine there? I'm sorry. Uh, those approved. are the only two questions okay. on this. Yeah, it's, it's, it it, it changed like, quite a bit. I felt like this was a good model to follow. Very, Very simple, good. you know, just and something limited. simple and, and limited. And I would just, I mean, recommend that council consider just putting a, a time, like such as 10 minutes just in deliberation. And um, which can always be changed, which is what I've said from day one, that council member can ask for more time but for documentation purposes um, it would be nice for order to show who's asking for more time because most council members don't need more than 10 minutes on on items really in your um, this this also has some rules if you go back to the third to the last page on closed sessions um, and it, it provides a procedure for uh, the council to exclude people from closed sessions who may otherwise be entitled. Um, which, which, uh, third to the last page. Which number? One, two, A, uh, one, eight? I. I. Uh, yeah, it's mm -hmm. I. Uh, one. In the middle of the page. A. <coughs> and that's B. B. Right. Can move to exclude any I otherwise unauthorized authorized person from all our part of closed session. I think we've seen this draft uh, three or four times before council, and, and this clearly has uh, made significant changes. And, and it seems to be very orderly for mm -hmm. rules of order in a meeting and limited to rules of order in a meeting. And simple to follow. Yes. My concern is just time. Um, Mr. Dawson, may I ask you uh, how much money, my concern with time is always a big deal for me. Can you tell me how much perhaps our, our, our meeting, our 11 hour meeting cost the city? The breakdown, ma'am, it, it's, it's uh, personnel wise, attorney wise, it's always one of the highest uh, uh, expense for the city. I think uh, 
the finance department did a, a report uh, somewhere in the nature of uh, seven to eight thousand dollars. Seven or eight thousand dollars, because we had no time limits for one meeting. Uh, I'm sorry, I mean to interrupt. But yes, on that workshop, there were a lot of legalities. A lot of um, is that is that usual? No, or have, have, oh. not that many attorneys uh, during our meetings. You know, so we limit the the use of that. The majority of the time, it's either Mr. Towler here. Uh, but as far as that workshop, because yeah, that, that was, workshop, the, the was workshop was a lot of stuff. It was a long time. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of stuff. Yeah. But like today, we had two. Council you know, Crow, we just. So I, I, I will say I. I kind of pushed for that because one, I felt like the prior council did not get the time face to face with the attorneys. Mm -hmm. and you're you're having to get caught up with years of past history oh, yes. that yes. you've never seen from the inside. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to make sure you had the chance to see it all as best you could and answer a lot of questions. And yes, it took several hours to do. It took ten or eleven hours. Eleven. To do, mm -hmm. But. At the same time, you were trying to catch up on years of history. Correct. And I thought it was important that you had that opportunity. And I appreciate that. I right. just, I just want to make it clear that we did have a it whole was, lot that day. It was scheduled day, and from it wasn't 10 to 3, right? Sure. Yes. It wasn't it's something true. we deliberately. No. No. It, but it's just, it's just the point I'm making that even these meetings that are six hours, because we do have comp time and city time, mm -hmm. and that's the only reason why I'm, I'm adamant about just a 10, if we do I, 10 I minutes, agree. you know, it's. And, and anybody can ask for more 10. time, you know, anybody can ask for more time. It's not mm -hmm. limiting anybody and, you know, it's providing for transparency. It's just in the essence of time in a, in a I believe uh, seven or 10 minutes is plenty of time. I think 10 is good with the extension. And when we make the motion, if, if we make a motion for this one, we can, we can actually populate that one blank because that's the only blank that's space the only on, the, on the alt. Right. And we can populate it in the motion uh, to fulfill the document. So mm -hmm. I guess we can move on before, since we combine the two, we should talk about, I mean, well, if anybody else questions on nine before we move forward. I don't. That was the only concern I had. Just, time is money. It is. And knowledge is priceless. Though. Absolutely. This one is yours, so if you'd like to go ahead. Would you like to speak, Ms. Moran, since you submitted this one? Yes. The, uh, the development of this policy is for us to ensure that we have an effective and efficient governance. And by adopting these guidelines that I have submitted as a draft to members of the City Council, we acknowledge our responsibility to each other and to our professional staff and to the public. Additionally, it will set standards to ensure that as public servants, we behave in a professional and ethical manner in order to ensure proper discharge of the duties for the improvement of the democratic local government, members of the Alice City Council, and that will display behavior that demonstrates independence, impartial review of all matters, and addressed by them and be duly responsible to the citizens and that we act in a manner of accountability and transparency and that we ask the questions that the public has the right to know and to set time limits and to assume that the public does not have <coughs> the right to know I feel is a, uh, is a disservice to the public because they have a right to know how government works and the reasons why some of the policy decisions are made here. And this draft that I have submitted is a shorter version of the way we govern ourselves and the way we conduct ourselves <coughs> during city council meetings and in executive session. It does call for a censorship. The council has a right to censor a uh, the mayor or the council for uh, any violations with regards to this ordinance it does and I recall Mr. Towler explaining that Robert's rules of order can be rather cumbersome and they are archaic so I have digested this to be more simple more modified to the way most cities and in accordance with the model that Texas Municipal League suggests, and uh, because we are looking at two different 
uh, procedures of rules, I'd like to make a motion that we table this so that we are allowed time, and I believe to correct Mr. Crisp, this is only the second time that uh, agenda item number nine has been brought to us. No, it is, it is at least the third time. You brought it probably at the previous council. This is the second time we're looking at this. Uh, this council, it's the second time. Yes. Correct. Was, I, I yes. presented it without yeah. discussion on March 25th. Right. And now we're bringing it back. And so it's we come had up since March 25th to so, go. Yes. But it has but been presented it, to council. So my, um, and because we are being asked to perhaps combine this, I would in also combine discussion. Uh, also to, uh, in the interest of time, and again, I guess Mr. Towler, your your billing has become a question here. Perhaps we should uh, table this to allow us to look at both of them and maybe come back and suggest which ones we should combine. And, and because we are, like you said, we are overlapping some, some items. Ms. Moran, yeah, there, there's, there's some overlap between yours and mine. Mm -hmm. There are some things in yours that mine doesn't treat, and I think they are valuable to, yeah. uh, to our council. And, and, they're good principle. Mine is more a technical rule oriented version and yours is an aspirational uh, let's all get along uh, and, and very important in a situation like this. I, I agree with that but uh, there is a little bit of overlap that's and, and, and your, your suggestions are, are well taken. I know that you noted them here. All the more reason why we ask I ask that we table this so that we can compare the two and come back and perhaps uh, combine into one ordinance since we're we both seem to be asking the same thing policies and procedures right. in how we govern our meetings but yours is but beyond governing the meetings yeah. yours goes up well this, beyond governing the meetings and, this and is has not, multiple statements like you said and yeah. multiple and statements of, of just written up it has statements alone that are against uh, state open meetings acts and it's against it charter has, it has state because i'm not a multiple secretary and this against, is asking me to be a secretary against charter it has multiple statements against uh how how the council governs employees so it's it's not even close i believe that this is modeled after many similar cities our size this is not uncommon and it is a model from the texas municipal league which uh I find that hard to believe this. because there's a lot of walking quorums. There's a lot of walking you're, quorums. You're up asking in here. for briefing material that I'm supposed to provide briefing material to the council in advance of more than a week. Well, that would instantly um, qualify as a walking quorum if you paid attention to the TML presentation on that Saturday. And, you know, there's just a bunch on this. I really feel Mr. Towler's is pretty easy, simple to follow. And then we can move forward with rules and order that I believe I've made a motion to and we'll take that under advice. I've made a motion okay. to uh, allow us to look at both since we have presented uh, policies and procedures to govern our meetings. I think in all fairness and in the essence of time, we should table this and come back and possibly present one document that will work for all, all council. Okay, is there a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Okay. So the motion stands to table. Agenda item number 11. Discuss, consider, and act upon an ordinance of the City of Alice establishing an ethics policy. Open for discussion. Yes. Oh, this is... Oh, I'm sorry, this no. is my agenda. Yeah, no, I uh, yes, I, I, brought, I would like to uh, discuss this policy. Uh, it is uh, a policy of the City of Dallas, Texas, that I'm introducing that the proper operation of democratic government requires that city officials be independent, partial, and responsible to the people that governmental decisions and policy be made through the proper channels of the governmental structure, that the public office not be used for personal gain, 
and that the public have confidence in the integrity of its government and its government officials. The purpose of this code is to establish a code of conduct and enumerate existing state laws, which in addition to other applicable laws, regulate the conduct and activities of the city officials and its city employees, and to establish standards as deemed necessary and appropriate to assure the faithful and impartial administration of the city's government. This will have no financial impact on our city budget. And I've submitted a draft. I'd like to make a motion that we table this in the essence of time to allow uh, council to review this and come back at the next regularly scheduled meeting with any input or comments. Um, there's a motion on the floor. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, another table on agenda item number 11. Agenda item number 12, discuss, consider, and act upon an ordinance of the City of Alice, Texas, establishing social media policy. Open for discussion. Ms. Moran, it's your... Uh, yes, there. this document defines the social networking and social media policy for the City of Alice to address the, fa the fast-changing landscape of the Internet and the way residents communicate and obtain information online. The City of Alice encourages the use of social media to further the goals of the city and the missions of its departments. Where appropriate, the City of Alice, Texas has an overriding interest and an expectation in deciding what is spoken on its behalf on social media sites. This policy establishes guidelines for the use of social media. It will have no financial impact on, on the uh, general fund. Uh, this was presented because of a situation that occurred a couple of weeks ago. Uh, there was a news media that was aired on Channel 3 early mornings on Monday. Later there was a uh, news media release that purported to indicate that city officials uh, were preparing to open the auditorium and that the expense of operating the auditorium was 23 million. It did not say the expense of the cost of building the auditorium. So in essence to making sure that you know we're not promulgating any type of media releases that have not been checked by our city manager or our city attorney, I think uh, and because of the fast-changing use of modern technology, we need some social media policy. And so our personnel has drafted a social media policy. And Ms. if we have any questions, we can address them to our city manager or, or Ms. Diane. Um, who, who drafted this? Who drafted this? I did. Okay. Uh, this was drafted back in um, September of 2016. Um, the city began using um, social media as a way to um, broaden our horizons and keep our citizens informed, but we don't have any policies in place. Um, there is, because these are uh, public Facebook postings, my concern is with records retention under um, open records request and the maintaining um, and the securing of those posts. Um, and also um, informing um, employees as to what is appropriate to post. This governs only um, City of Alice sponsored social media. There are some guidelines for employees should they wish to post on their own social media, um, but this is solely for the purpose of city sponsored um, social media websites. Um, also to have control over who the administrators are and um, just um, social media is becoming um, such a, I think the words Mrs. Moran used was fast, paid, fast changing. Um, we're a little behind in, on that curve and, and that was the reason behind the policy. The policy was drafted um, by myself and also by the consultant we had at the time, Diane Scannell, um, and um, 
I was asked on Friday if I had anything and, and this is what had been prepared. It was sent to Mr. Towler for review and he has his comments on it. And just for clarification, I actually had my own draft. Again, it was adopted using the standards provided by Texas Municipal League, but because the uh, city already had a draft, I decided to withdraw my draft, and uh, therefore this is the the in draft that was submitted. And no changes have been made to this. I would draft. like to. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, if I may, Mayor. The, that this be tabled also. I was unaware that uh, this was a city uh, item hmm. that was prepared by our city. Right. Doesn't this violate our charter as well as council? I'm not sure, ma'am. Uh, I, I thought that this was uh, the agenda item that the councilwoman had placed on there. It is my agenda. It's her agenda item, but I but was, was But I was unaware time. that yes, sir, this I was prepared understand. by yourself, ma'am. I believe uh, that's a violation of charter, Miss Moran, because you're, you're not her. Um, you're yeah. supposed to go to Mr. City Manager. You cannot do direct. I, I don't think it's that. I, I don't think it's that critical, ma'am. She's she's doing a, a a service to try to move things forward. I, I have no problem with that, but I was unaware that it came out of our office. So uh, I, I'd like to speak to her city clerk. Again, this was uh, in essence of because we already have one. It does follow the Texas Municipal League recommendations. Um, it's against state code, and, though. And all, all city. I'm oh, sorry. It violates state code. State code, government code, section 551.006, and use of social media by elected officials, and also it violates this. Constitutional rights. This is not um, meant to. I'll it's just not meant, it. but there is a paragraph, there, a paragraph par four, two parts on when it, it talks about the guidelines for the city employees when it communicates. Uh, as sites as private citizens. I'm sorry, so what page are you on? that's the very first page. Oh. Page one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I do think that this. I, I don't think this is a bad idea. Yeah. I just think it needs to it be. It needs a lot of revisions. It needs a lot of revisions. There's a lot of violations so, of the yeah, First so. Amendment rights. And, and, so and, and if it if it's meant to be that, it needs to be stated clearer because that one paragraph where it talks about therefore the policies provided guidelines for city employees when they communicate on social media as private citizens. Mm -hmm. Is 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 is, yeah. uh, is a direct violation mm -hmm. uh, when it's a city city rights. city city right, but it doesn't state website. anywhere on on that paragraph. That I did make a motion to table this. No, you didn't. Well, no, no, you suggested a motion that's, to table that's, it. Yeah. That's fine. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate that. Okay, so motion to table. Can I get a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And no opposed. Okay. Motion stands. Okay, at this time, agenda item number 15, um, adjourn and or consider and act upon adjournment. Can I get a second? And all in favor? Aye. 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 This meeting is now adjourned at 11.01 p.m. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you, council. Thank you, staff. Thank you.